Hello and welcome to the last of the quarterfinals for the AMD Premier League second season. We see Orange and Mineski, they are gonna fight it out for the spot in the semis because the sem semi-finals is where the winner will be heading towards. It is a single elimination bracket with best out of threes. I am not by myself for this matchup. I am joined by Grant Grant. Grant Grant, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Life's looking good. Life's looking up. It's sunny out. Got some good games of Dota. Yep, and Orange and Mineski, it's a, it's a high anticipated mess, uh, match, of course, Orange is the favorite one. Yep. There's no doubt about that, but Mineski, they always know how to put on the show, and as you said earlier, I mean, they always work hard, and they, they have their heart in it, and they fight like it's no tomorrow, so I'm really excited to see how they will do up against uh, the giants of Orange. Yeah, but I think most people, when they saw the brackets of the tournament, were like, well, this looks like an Orange versus the Zenith Finals, but both teams have had a few challenges. Well, kind of. Mm -hmm. Well, Zenith hasn't. But now they will. Soon they will. Uh, they are yeah. on the other side of the bracket, indeed. Uh, yep, against say. Vici Gaming, so that'll be good. Yep, it will be. An orange Mineski. We have got a Bed Rider, Shadow Demon Ban out, as well as a Nix Assassin and a Dark Seer. We still have an Alchemist in the pool. Could be picked up first. We still, of course, also have the Visage. So it's basically the chance to for MD Mineski to choose which one of the two they want to have. It is a Visage that they go for. So leaving the Alchemist in the pool, turn to pick. an orange could uh, go for that if they want to. Yeah, Visage pretty much just means we have a hero that is amazing. And Alchemist, I mean, Alchemist can take a little bit, like, 8 to 10 minutes to actually become that kind of hero, while Visage just starts off as, like, the best level 1 hero in the game. Yeah, which one do you prefer, by the way? We have seen different spec bu uh, skill builds, and most want to go for the Shallow Grave. Shallow Grave? What am I saying? Grave Chill. Uh, rather than the Soul Assumption, which one would you suggest... I guess it depends if you're going I mean you usually when you have a Saj you go a uh, hard lane mm -hmm. and I guess it depends if you're laning if you're doing like something like Visage like Venge and somebody I mean I, I think Grave Chill is better to Slough I don't know it's it's really up to you okay. no I prefer the nuke the nuke's always better if you have stunners in your lane yeah, that that's would be a requirement to have that extra disable just to hold your target in Ten place. We've got the Alchemist uh, indeed for Orange, so no surprise there. They're thinking about their last pickup though and taking their time for it too. That might be the first team. Nope, it won't be the first team to use a bonus time. They go for the OD. Now we've seen a lot of razors um, from Mineski actually uh, last um, Wednesday when they were up against Moosey Esports. A lot of razors up against that OD, so they might want to secure it right now because Orange, I believe, they would do their uh, homework and indeed would have otherwise banned it out. So razor against OD will be our mid lane for today. Yep. Yeah. Unless unless Orange planned and he's gonna go like short lane or something, but yeah, razor is one of those heroes that's always a good hero, but he r hard count. Well, not hard counters, but he really counters Nix and OD ridiculously in yeah. lane, out of lane, and he's he's reasonably fun to watch. When he's just sucking you away. Yep, and actually, both of the times that we saw the Razor on, on Wednesday, he went for uh, Aghanim's Refresher build. Yep. So that's uh, that's a very scary Razor if he gets that up fairly fast, depending on, of course, how his mid lane goes. Yep. We have a uh, Lifestealer still banned out by Orange. We've Ten got two, well, jungler slash nature heroes banned out. It is a Chen and a Five Lone Druid. Remaining. Still have the Enchantress in the pool. If Orange wants to go for that one, and they do after banning out the Rubik. Team pick. Yep. I'm calling and these heroes like crazy, by the way. Just want to I know. <laughs> you're you're on right now. Oh, you didn't call Sand King, oh, though. Oh, damn. I would have, I, if you just let me spoke, I would have probably said Sand King. Nah. I wouldn't have guessed Sand King, though we have seen it before from Mineski. Of course, if you do go for the Grave Shield at the start for Visage, you can set yeah. up for a nice Burrow Strike, because, of course, Sand King's Burrow Strike very lo short range at level 1. But it can yeah. work out. Yeah, and this is, um, I mean, Sand King, he, I'm, I'm one of those guys who was always in Dota 1 or Dota 2, like, the beginning was, like, Sand King's, like, the worst tri laner, be, just because of how bad his stun is at level 1, but I've been proven wrong, he's actually, I think he has a pretty high win rate in professional games, and besides Korok going mid on him occasionally, he seems to always be a support. Yeah, I'm expecting him to be a support here as, uh, as well. And I have to say, I don't think I've seen Korok solo mid uh, Sand King just yet. 
What, what, who'd they play yesterday? I think that he did it versus iCup yesterday. Oh, okay, I wasn't able to see that matchup. Yeah. I was casting others. Yeah. He beat, uh, he destroyed the Dark Seer, I think, or something. I forget. That's nice. Windrunner picked up, so two redheads for orange. Pun. Ha! Sorry. <laughs> wow, that's bad. So Windrunner will be picked up for orange, will be their uh, solo lane, most likely their off lane. And Alchemist then on a safe lane. Basically having their three, three cores, just need a support for Alchemist to keep him safe. With the Weaver on Maneski, it could be going on a safe lane solo, could be going on the aggressive tri lane. Just one of those heroes that is very versatile and of course it's kind of opening them up to a tri core lineup for Maneski. Yep. And I mean, they really don't have much to deal with the Weaver right now in forms of like stable. Oh, I thought I turned that off. Whoops. In forms of a stable shutdown. Well, they don't. Apart from well, well, actually, I wanna, I wanna, because yesterday and today as well on Zenith, we saw an alchemist that built a medallion of courage real fast, and then threw it out on a weaver, put the acid spray and medallion on the weaver while the unstable concoction was flying, and every time weaver got stunned in acid spray, already taking. Uh, most of his health points away by the minus armor and he basically died while standing in the acid spray so it can work alchemist is someone that can deal with an early game weaver if he doesn't get a good start if weaver doesn't get a good start that is that's true if they i mean it's it'll probably be a lot harder to do that if they try lane the weaver though yeah it should be in theory it should be vengeful spirit last ban for mineski last pick will go to orange I uh, will indeed be one of those supports and Mineski, they probably saw the games that were played earlier today because they banned out the Vengeful Spirit, of course, extra minus armor is never desirable, so one more support left, which one do you think they'll go for? Uh, who knows at this point, looks like... Oh. Enigma. Yeah, you would have definitely guessed that one too. Right? Yeah, good one, yep. yep. So it looks like they're gonna do Windrunner support and Enigma on the long lane probably then. Yeah, it kind of has to be because they have and the Enchantress and the Enigma making for, uh, well, actually, how Unless about, how about, dual jungle, I, I remember that, SK Gaming. How about Enigma on the safe lane, Enchantress in the dire jungle, Windrunner as support, and Alchemist on the aggressive tri lane with the Windrunner and the aggressive tri laning jungler Enchantress and OD mid. Uh, they could, they'll probably just do a Alchemist, Enchant, Windrunner, safe lane though. Would be more, my assumption. Would be more stable, or at least more obvious, I guess. Uh, yeah, I remember. One more hit, one more pick. Are they gonna pick up another core? Apparently, Orange didn't think so. They banned out the Nature's Prophet. Yep. Why is Nature's Prophet not a core hero? I don't know how the he, that word's used. Well, he, he can turn into a core later on, but at the start, he's not really, like, he's not really a number one or number two. He actually is normally not even a lumber three if he goes into the jungle. But yeah, he is one of normal. Normally, he's one of the people that ends up with the highest net worth. That's true. I would like to see actually Weaver on the safe lane and an aggressive trialing with a gyrocopter or maybe something like that still. Because I've seen Weaver up against Alchemist, I think, three times in the last two days. Like today and yesterday. And it never worked out. Ever. Yeah. Weaver just dies. <laughs> Oh, I love Weaver is the most annoying hero to play against, especially when you don't have Rubik, who's like his major shutdown. But we'll see. Do, 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 do. They're taking their time. They're they're probably getting massages from their their ladies. I know the Filipinos, the, those professional gamers. Man, they get all the ladies there. Oh, Magnetar. Magnus will be then on the. Well, where are, actually now we don't know for sure if Razor is indeed going to be on that mid lane. I th I think so. I think Weaver. It's either going to be Weaver or Magnus going to the long lane probably. Yeah. Unless they're, we'll see. They they just want the Razor versus COD, so they could switch lanes really early on too. I guess it's the moment of uh, wait and see what happens, kinda. Dota, to see who goes where and who plays what. So waiting for the last two players to actually pick up their heroes before we have ourselves the game. I actually, I mean, we loaded in pretty okay with the timing, considering we had yeah. 19 observers. Because the American was here to regulate, make sure stuff got, got done. Yeah, that must be the reason. 
has to be. Has to be. Five seconds okay. remaining. Come on. Pick up your heroes. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh no, don't oh good he picked. So let's see who is playing on what. We have got Ohio playing the Enigma for Orange. Prepare Mushi on the OD. Battle. X or Extinct on the Enchantress. And it will be KYX by on the Alchemist and Net then on the Windrunner. As uh, indeed a support with the wards in their inventory picked up by yeah. yourself. I think I had everybody here. That was five. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and then on uh, AMD Maninsky, you got Jesse Vash. Sounds like a nice guy. Going top with the Magnetar. They're all going to go top right now. And then you got G, the, f the fake Nana European G on Visage playing that hard support. Then J on Razor. Probably will end up middle. And o Owa. I'll go, I'll go with that. On Sand King. And then some guy who doesn't have a name on Weaver. I think we can call him Joven. Okay, or we can call him Dot Dot. Nah, he's Joven. Alright, okay. I don't know. Oh, we might actually have a clash. Yep, oh, net. Careful, set a link. Burrow Strike already there. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna very hurt. The slow is there. The wind run away is not gonna be enough. The salve has already been used, and that's the first blood. Go on the way of Mineski's Geo on the visage. So nicely done. First blood on the board. AMD Mineski having a good start here for this first game. Yeah, that's huge. That was a nice quick stun from Sand King, and then he blocked off his route to the right, so he had to go left. And anyway, I mean, that's huge that he wasted his healing potion, too. So he just lost all that gold he had, gave away 400 gold, and lost a health potion. Well, it's going to be painful. He is uh, making his way over to the. Well, he was a, he's a support, but he's making his way over to the top lane again, I would expect soon. Although, he is actually rotating right now. Are they gonna do the thing that I said? Oh, almost. Damn, I was so close! Or and is he just... she might just be pulling Ancients, or... I don't know. Oh, oh middle could be trouble for the south. Yeah, okay, why XY already having the static link. Walks in the wrong direction for Owa, though. Can't do anything with his infants room right now. But we have an aggressive jungler in the Enchantress. And uh, Radiant Jungle, and that means that in a way, Ohio is on an aggressive trial lane because Windrunner is around there as well. As Visage is able to pick up KOA X5, who apparently still went down. My bad, missed that one. Lance is as its prey, but yeah, with the Visage coming from the north, uh, from the south, I don't know where it came from. Still nice pick somewhere. up. Yeah, and this OD should just absolutely destroy this Magnetar top, which I guess he's doing right now. Yeah, Mushi OD, I mean, he's 4 four for 4, with only one last hit now for Jesse Fash, and it's, it's gonna get only tougher. In the meantime, supports have been scouted out, uh, apparently Joven is not too worried just yet. Yep. I mean, they don't... all they have is Enigma, it's level 1 stun, and he's not even level 2, so he doesn't even have that. Yeah. It's just gonna be impossible with their lineup to gank Weaver, they're just gonna have to hope to lock him down in team fights. And of course, I mean, they only had one Observer or Sentry Ward as well, and you run out of that one very fast if you're a Weaver, so... you're yeah, not really a potential 4 kill just yet, and they are actually on their way back to their own jungle, so they're gonna leave Weaver by himself. I'm thinking that Mineski probably would've liked to have the Razor up against the OD, and right now he's having a pretty tough time. He can't really get too much in range because of the Acid Spray. Taking yeah. a lot of harassment for it, even though, of course, he did get a kill just now. KYXY is doing very nice on the last hit. He is 11 4 0, with uh, Jay sitting on 8 for 2. Yep, and oh, I think uh, this is not the skill build you want to go on Razor mid. I, ah, he's a professional player, though, but oh, top lane, it looks like they're going to try to smoke gank, either top or mid. No, yeah, they haven't decided just yet. Will it be mid? With yeah. Enigma, too. Wow, they're, they're going all out on this guy. And if they don't kill off Razor now with that, that's gonna be a lot of time wasted. In comes the stun, and the Acid Spray is only a very short duration, though the Shackle will latch, however, and the Clap, and the Malefice, that's gonna be rewarded with a kill. Enigma with the last hit. I for a second thought it wasn't gonna happen anymore, but... Nice Shackle coming off from Net. Yeah, I don't think the Razor expected all f three of the other heroes to just abandon bottom and all commit, <laughs> so he's trying to... Yeah, he's trying to... Fog the guy, and then he didn't realize there's a wind runner. And if you're near any trees, you're you're gonna get you're gonna get shackled. Yep. Alchemist charging up a stun again. It's just harassment, though. But harassment in minus armor is, of course, uh, pretty painful. Enigma actually rotated into the jungle now completely, so leaving the bottom lane open. And the only thing that's the difference between the teams right now is that there is actually an offlaner still on the side of Mineski, with Orange not having 
an off laner because they went into the jungle. But Jesse Fash is still on the top lane, still trying to make things happen there. Even though he doesn't have any mana and therefore doesn't have an escape, but oh yeah. Well. Mm. And now there are actually people pulling tops, so he's probably gonna have to either just go to the jungle and hope he can kill small creeps. That's about it. I would have liked to see Maneski keep on with the aggression that they had. Yeah. They, because they have, like, with their supports, we already saw the power of the Sand King and the Visage, and they can just keep that on and keep harassing middle, I think. But middle right now is gonna be harassed again by Orange, as there's another smoke up. And Chandra's has got another Hellbird Smasher, and with three people again, they'll try to kill off the Razor. And uh, he seems pretty aware of it. Down bottom, they're actually pushing a tower hard. You'd think Weaver would want to turn on his uh, Bassy ring right now. They could take a pretty free tower. Well, I like to do it the hard uh -oh, way. Ooh. Yep. Nice. Magnus goes to the low ground. He scouted out the smoke, smoke gank. They're still going for it, though. Nah. Did that, was that stun ridiculously yeah, slow? Or, I mean, okay. short? Or, or did my screen just bug on that Magnetar? It looked like he stunned him, and then he just didn't do anything. It might be because uh, you're connected to the Chinese servers or to the Radiant's Singaporean servers. Maybe. Animation bug. Uh, but yeah, tier one bottom did go down. Tier one top, on the side of Mineski, also is taking some harassment though. So maybe they're gonna be able to make it into a trade. Net did TP bottom to stop the push from happening, and actually Mineski, they want to fight this. They TP in. A strong imprisonment for Mushi. Burrow Strike will still hit though, and the slow is there as well. There's no RP or anything just yet, but it doesn't matter by the looks of it. Mushi, one more hit away from dying, but the nature's attendance keeps it up. We have a pause, and that is a disconnect from the Magnus. That is very inconvenient. Yep, I don't. Yep, and he did have his level 2 shockwave. I probably would have got him. He might still get him. Ah, nah, the heal, because since uh, X is. Full HP, all those things are only healing Mushi, yeah. so. Right. Uh, the thing is, uh, the Magnus, they all went, ran to the right of the tower, so the Magnetar blocked the Razor, so once he uh, did his static link, he just got blocked and tried to run the other way and then lost the static link. Probably lost him that kill. Can they maybe get Enigma instead? There is a soul assumption. Yeah. There's no mana up on Visage, actually. Never mind yeah, that. Yeah, or Sand King. They're just. I think I'll just try to push a tower a little and then back once Orange comes back. KYX is making his way middle. Could Orange turn this around? Because they have got still some mana. Mushi is actually full of mana, has got his Eclipse ready to drop. X has still got half his mana left there as well. Ohio doesn't have anything just yet, but his Malefice will be off cooldown in just 4 seconds. And if that Alchemist can make a good unstable concoction, he has got his Chemical Rage as well. Then that might be worth something, although for them, Net cannot TP top, because he just TP'd bottom and it doesn't have a TP anymore. More Jovan doesn't have a TP too though, so we'll be staying 4 versus 4. Yeah, Ben, I mean, since Alchemist is coming with... If he pops Chemical Rage now, he'll have all the mana he needs by then, and he has two ball charges. This could... If they overextend here, Maninsky's gonna lose a lot of stuff. Yeah, they have to be careful. Razor doesn't have any uh, attack damage stolen at all. Does have his ulti now though, which could scare him off, but we'll see. Yeah. I have no idea what they're talking about. They're just talking about him. stuff. That's Where my that's my answer. Tungu. Ungoy. Why do they have double G's? I don't know. <laughs> I just noticed it's double Oh and here we go. Now well, let's see. Oh and there's a the chemical rage. <laughs> they're actually gonna back. come back in. Nope, they thought about it, but with Mineski all backing off so fast. Also, a KY Xpy who did pop his chemical rage, by the way, went back towards the middle lane. So, good call for Mineski. And I mean, if you are having a pause anyway, you might as well analyze it to the fullest and, you know, come to the conclusion we can't do anything here and then back off, yep. not waste any more time. Yep. Oh, and this Razor is choosing to not level Static Link over Plasma Field. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's uh, gonna get right. stunned up as well. In the minus armor, if he's lucky. Nope. Whoa, still hurts. Yep. No, I mean, they're just letting. They're not too. I mean, Weaver is such a weak hero until he gets his Lincolns, which takes quite a bit of time because he doesn't have moves that just farm ridiculously fast. 
So they're fine with just giving him free farm, it seems. Yeah, I mean, they have an OD that's pretty farmed. I think that Orange is planning on trying to win the mid game. So when when also KYX Pi has maybe got a Shadow Blade or something like that, then they will go before the Lincolns is up on the Weaver. Weaver has got 1600 gold. He's actually his highest on that worth as well, of course, because of that tower helping out. And yeah, he's just been completely left alone. Yep. Maybe maybe Orange can finally take down the tier one top. They're gonna try, but there is a smoke. They don't have that glyph, so I mean this will go down before the they can even get there. It looks like. Maybe not though. And we're trying to run Elk or Magnus still level four though. TP's incoming. We also have got Weaver coming into this fight. Tower will not go nice. down just yet. Burrow strike. I've seen this scenario before. There goes the Asperon Prism. Deny on the tower for the Magnus. Mushi will try to run himself out, but won't be able to do so. In comes KY Xpire, looking for a stun, gets a double, but is not able to go in on it. Again, Shackle, let's just weaver to a tree. Doesn't really matter that much, though. Slow on KY Xpire, trying to TP himself into safety. There is no Burrow Strike just yet, and he will be fine. They lost Mushi. They and lost a tower. Yeah, that was a good tower denied by the Magnus. Yeah. So I went pretty well for Maninsky. It did. It did indeed, and I mean, Orange just not able to anticipate what Maninsky was about to do. I mean, they were a bit too late to the party, it felt like. In the meantime, Enigma is trying to make it work, though. They're just trying to split push and push on the bottom lane. I'm not sure if he can get the tower down, but at least he's doing quite a bit of damage to it. Yep. That's what he needs oh. to do. Do you think, is this... KYXY is going mid. He should be able to get Jay. One more hit needed. Boom. Dead. In comes the Sand King, we'll be able to have Burrow strike KY x but Radiant's that should not be getting a kill unless... Nah, he's actually charging up another stun. They might have been able to. He stunned him out of tower range for some reason. He waited, gave him a few auto attacks. Oh, oh nice bait. Yeah, waiting until he stunned wow. himself. That, okay. And if you're wondering why didn't he not stun already the Visage, it's because it's nighttime. He didn't see him. Painful. <laughs> that, was, that was a nice play. This is... Hail to our new overlords. Mm hmm. Well, I guess our old. Do they still play Dota 1 in the Philippines? I don't know if there's still tournaments. I know they're the last ones. I don't know. Actually. I, don't, I never really followed Dota 1, so I have no idea. That's true. Oh. Let's see, yeah. Weaver still just farming. Treads Aquila. Well, we'll see if she goes uh, straight. Lin he goes straight Lincolns or goes for more of a drums aggressive build. I'm hoping drums aggressive, but I'm thinking Lincolns. Yeah, me too. It's just, yeah, Lincolns is a bit of a boring build lady. We have got Enigma, by the way, who goes for a fast mechanism. Well, fast. He's still got boots and soul ring, and they're actually looking to uh, to fight somewhere. They don't have a smoke with them though, so yeah, the radiant side does see them walking into <laughs> yeah. their jungle. But Razor might run right into them for some reason. If they want to fight this. They've got three people around their tower. They would outnumber. Orange. Let's see. Here comes the Maleficent and the Black Hole because they can, but the Burrow Strike instantly interrupting Ohio. And Ohio already running for his life. Nice Shackle and Stun. Sand King is the first one to die. Net will drop still as well. And that will be X brought down as well. They try to chase down Kway X5, but they won't be doing it anymore. Jay turning on his eye of the storm for that one. And 3, 2, a 1 was the kill score in the end. I mean, Enigma is still going down as well. They got the Sand King very fast, but after that, it was kind of sad that they used the Black Hole for this. It feels kind of sloppy from Orange, just... Running into the jungle without a smoke? With, yeah. Without a smoke, without having words of their own, without knowing where everybody of Maneski is, and just... Getting caught up like that and just die. Yeah, that was... And I mean, that's... The Sand King's playing really good. I mean, he's... That Black Hole went off on a solo Weaver who's in Viz, and the Sand King just done the Enigma, so... The Black Hole did nothing at all. Yeah, so it's a bit of a shame because that would be one of their like if you imagine the 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 wombo combo thing from Orange, you've got yourself a bl nice black hole, three people or more. You've got an eclipse on top of that, an unstable concoction with an AOE stun, power shot through that as well. And I mean, that's basically all people in the black hole dead. But they won't be able to do that anymore for a while. Yeah, and especially now that Visage is six and the black hole doesn't affect the birds, it's going to be extremely hard to get off a black hole. Bridge just waiting to interrupt that. Of course, that's also what the Sand King is going to do. Just sit back until he can burrow strike the Enigma if he can. In the meantime, the four staff is almost on, on uh, Mushi, so uh, he can actually buy the recipe if he wants to. He does that. So, four staff done. 
That might be uh, handy for him getting that extra power on the Eclipse. Sanity Eclipse. Yep. And then. Oh. Yeah, Meninsky is fine with just farming now and waiting for their abilities to get up and. Oh, nice, nice shackle, shackle bottom. Power shot as well. But a time lapse already there, and they're actually trying to chase down KYX by. Here comes the Magnus. He has an RP. Tries to go for net this instead, but Windrun will keep her out of range. And now in comes KYX by with the stun. Throws it out. Won't be able to go in on it, but still says a bit, you know, in your face kind on of thing. Middle lane. Middle lane. I have a storm turned on again. Looking for Mushi. Draining attack damage as he goes. Four staff to the high ground, though, will allow him to keep safe. And Ohio yeah, looks to be the target. Mm, yeah. Should be nobody else dying right now. Well, that's an RP used. So we had a black hole that wasn't really that useful. We had a RP that hit nobody at all. Yeah, he was showing off. I mean, they are Filipino, and that's what J.O. is. And then J.O. invented just being off. Oh, wait. They spot Brown out, Invisible Magnus. Yep. Oh, ooh. Oh, Boom. awkward scores. Yay. We'll just... We'll go zero for two on the skill shots for Magnus here. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how skill shot he RP is, but... Well, it's a slightly skill shot. I mean, you kind of have to, uh, you know, hit people with it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he did not do that. He did not do that. You cannot click target, unfortunately. So, yeah, that was also a bit of a wasted invisibility rune, because, of course, he tried to screw someone out to try and take him down, but um, failed on that account. Looks like, yeah, the Alchemist picked up the medallion, like you said Zenith was doing. Yeah, so we're. G I think we're going to see this a lot more. Like, I, I, oh, I personally saw it first yesterday, I think, but yeah, I think we're going to see it a lot more. Because it's so, like, stacking that minus armor so so powerful. Weaver, in the meantime, has got himself the Perseverance, so he just needs the uh, ultimate orb and the recipe, and then he has his Lincolns. In the meantime, Ohio is 200 gold away from getting the mechanism up. And maybe with that, they can find a little bit more. They are grouped up together again, by the way. I mean, this is this is an alchemist that has been roaming around a lot to try and make things happen. This time, they do smoke up, but it's all going to cost him um, attack damage. Uh, attack damage, uh, last hits. But they're just going for the Roche, which they can do pretty easily with yeah, all, that all, their, armor. all the creeps. Yeah, because once uh, that state satyr gets low, he'll just convert it. Doesn't even need to. Nature's attendance keeping it up for a little while longer. He's tanking it up. Look at him go. Mm -hmm. I don't guess he's not. Oh. In the meantime, Burst like wow. came in. Windrunner scouted out. They didn't know that the Roshi was being attempted, though. Alchemist will still, still throw out his stun. He comes a slow. Ohio, careful. He has a black hole again. Won't be able to use it. Gets Burrow strike again. Nice Eclipse, doing a little bit of damage to Jay, but it doesn't really matter that much because it's Mushi that is on the run right now. KYX by charging up another stun. Soul Assumption will hit, that's gonna be Mushi. Dead first to the Weaver. KYX by will be uh, trying to run away from that as well as X TPs himself into safety. Able oh, to do barely. that, barely able to do that. Oh, wait, what? And then Windrunner just TPs right into him. And another man, another good fight for Maninsky. Yep, it is 10 to 3 on the kill score. Goldgraf is not going in their favor too fast, but it's still 2k in favor, which is decent. Experience Graf with this fight going 3k in favor of Mineski. And of course, Roshan is still living on half HP. Yeah, they got lucky they caught out that guy with the static field uh, giving vision. Whoa. Oh, free kill. Yep. Barret scouting him out, plasma field level 4, and a shockwave to finish it off. And a tier free 1 tower cap. on top of that. Yeah, and they'll give it to Magnus. He has Blink now. Smart move. Yeah, that's gonna be making a change of uh, RPs, hopefully for him. And so far, I mean, Orange again—they just don't feel like they're all awake, or just at yeah. least not playing like we know they can. Yeah, maybe they're just. Nah, I'm not gonna make excuses. They're just, yeah, they're just playing sloppy. Yeah. Who knows why? Maybe. They didn't get a good. What time is it over there? They didn't have a good dinner. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is 10 p.m. 10:30 p.m. Okay, that could be it. I mean, if you don't eat, if you don't have a good meal, you're gonna you're gonna pay for it. Then again, if you eat too much, you're gonna pay for it too. Well, yeah, I think Mushi already did before the game. <laughs> True. 
True, yes. Okay. Oh, they're four man in bottom for Mushi. Yeah, there goes a blink in an RP. Screw back towards his team. Slow is there as well. Four stuff, but I don't think it's gonna matter that much. In comes the soul assumption and down goes Mushi and it is just dominating right now. I mean we have got Mushi that's the highest farmer up on orange. Got shut down. And of course the thing about an OD is if he is behind, he's not gonna get back on top real fast. I mean he needs time and who is gonna buy that time for him? Nobody really, because Alchemist needs to more time as well. There's not been any decent black holes, and as you mentioned, there's no easy way to get real black holes anymore. So the fear of a black hole is not really there for Mineski. Windrunner is played as support, Enchantress played as support. OD is basically the only one that can try and buy time for himself. But that's yeah. not really happening either. Yeah, this is look I mean this is looking good for Mineski as long as they don't do anything too stupid, pull an EG or an Alliance or any of that. Let's see, they're gonna smoke again. Mineski keeping the pressure on, like they should. Not give any time to Orange to uh, get back up on their feet. Oh, so, there they go. Link score, KYXY, already dead. Soul Assumption, oh, that's nice an unstoppable one. visage by the way. I mean, he's the yep. ultimate last hit stealer, of course. But he is six to zero to five. He's been in eleven out of the thirteen kills. Yep, yeah, and I mean that's the one good thing about having a four-second finger of death cooldown, I guess. Yep. So only it's a very expensive a mana. That's true, but I mean, since he did go mana boots first, he's he's fine. Yes. And they're gonna try to maybe do Roche again. It looks like. Well, they would trade their tier one top for it. The question they is, might. I mean, I think they can. The question is if Mineski wants to trade it, or if they just TP middle and just try to contest it, because I think they could do that too. It looks like they are, yep, they're all TPing. They're not killing it that quick, so this this could be bad for Orange. Yep, here they come. Illusions first. Plasma wow, field do some damage. They should have tendons already going, but... Yep, that's an RP. Up on two. Ohio and KYX by. Four stuff to the high ground, Ohio no longer alive, Soul Assumption hits, KYX by, will get dropped as well, Mushi looks to be next, trying to run, another Soul Assumption comes in and that's gonna be another kill, go on the way of Mineski, a buyback on KYX by, I'm not sure what he thinks he can do here though, as Enchantress drops, double kill for Jay, and that is, again, a 4-4-1 four, four, trade. Yep. Oh, Alchemist did something. die to, Alchemist did die to Roshan the first time, but I mean he still died and then bought back and did nothing. Ah. Well, that's a small coffer that he died to Roshan, I guess. But yeah, bought back, losing a lot of gold. He is now even lower on net worth than the Visages, and Mineski is just playing it very, very... Like, it, it seems to come natural. Smart. Controlled. Yeah. It's under their control for sure. BKB ready up on Jay now as well. Lincoln's, of course, is already done up on Joven, and... Yeah, it's going pretty well. Yep. Yeah. Oh man, the BKB instead of the Aghanims. What a wimp. Yeah. It is. A smart, a smart wimp, but... I'm expecting he's still gonna go for the Aghanims, but only after yeah. as BKB, and that will, of course, be a huge yeah. delay, unfortunately. Yeah, and the big thing, like, they... The Sentinel, what are they called? Oh yeah, Radiant, I mean, they don't need to take Roshan, and they're just wasting all of Dyer's time, because they've tried to do it, what, three times now? And they've been stopped all three times. Yeah. And they're just... Yeah, they're losing it. They're losing their minds. Losing their minds, losing their Roshan, and of course losing their tier 1s, because they don't have any tier 1s left standing anymore. They traded that tier 1 top to try Roshan again. Yeah. Oh man, so... Yeah, Men Meniski is just playing it smart. Farming up, waiting for I don't know what. Mm, waiting for some new items, perhaps. Waiting for a new opportunity to uh, find out what Orange is doing. I mean, in terms of... Map control, Mineski of course with the, with all the tier 1 downs on the side of orange they do have a bit more map control but they only have one real observer board standing at the Roche pit so they don't know where anybody of orange is right now and uh, apart from of course KY Expo who shows himself on the bottom lane but the rest is actually jungling together as uh, OD also shows himself now middle he's going for a hex next but the smoke is there again for Mineski but they should I think they got spotted out by that with that sentry ward? Yeah. The pings go off, they, they know what's happening. Well, maybe not, I don't know. 
Yeah, you only see the smoke if uh, if you look on the map at that point. So, well, the the ping goes off. I mean, it is uh, Ohio that is just being exactly where Mineski is at. So, uh, KYXY. Yeah, I was gonna say blink RP. That should be one dead alchemist. So some she comes in a little bit too late. He this tried. Time. But and that's another. That's a tier two, and they should be able to defend that tier one. We'll see if. Nah, maybe not. And they're gonna It'd see if they can take down a tier three four. Their fortification is there, and they know that there is. A, well, there actually is a fortification up on orange still as well. There it is. Yep. Net hanging around, looking for a shackle. Blink RP doesn't catch anybody. Nice shackle up on Vash though, but nobody to follow it up on. Malefis up on Jay. Turns on his BKB just because he doesn't want to have more takes of the Malefis. Takes down a tier 3, backs off afterwards. That's, yep, just good. Good, solid play. Mm -hmm. Orange do take that tier 1 mid in return for it, but not worth tier losing two, a tier 3. three. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately for, uh, for Orange. Who uh, is 18 to 4, by the way. Mineski is really dominating this here. 7,500 gold ahead. 7,500 experience ahead as well. And now with the gem of true setup on Visage, their map control will be even smaller than it was before. Yep. An interesting ward from uh, the rating on the right side. You'd think they'd want it more at the right so they could see if they were going to farm. Now we'll just... Yeah, they're going to go and... They're going to go and counter ward with this gem and... Have a good time. Yeah. Do they have more smokes, by the way? Yes, they do. They have. They smoked so often already. This is their last one. How much more do they have? Yeah, this was the last one. In the inventory of the Sand King. And in the meantime, Weaver gets himself uh, some extra minus armor. Goes for Desolator. We'll be also able to split push with that and just take down towers real quick, of course. Jay already has got 2300 gold. Yep. Looks like I'm Razor. Just soaking up that sweet, sweet gold. Yeah, and, and Orange. What, what do you think Orange should do if they want to get back into this game? Because right now, this is Mineski's game to lose. Uh, Orange should probably f forfeit and go to game two. <laughs> but if not, they should, uh. They, I, they, I, honestly, I just don't really. There should be some sort of way they get back in here, but there's really not with the Enigma only having a mech. I mean, their their biggest thing is obviously if they get a good black hole, but without BKB, that's not going to happen. So it's going to be extremely hard for them. Well, apparently they do still think that they have a chance, considering they haven't called GG just yet. Yep. But then again, there's always hope in Dota. You just have to hope that your opponents make some mistakes. And try to uh, find them in time so that you can profit from them, but it's it's gonna be hard. Mineski, they they still play very calculated. What we saw from uh, Zenith in the previous game was at some point when they were ahead, they were just like, "Oh my God, we're getting kills. Let's get more kills," and kind of disregard the rest. And even though they still made trades, they sh you know they didn't need to make trades at that point. But Mineski yep. is just continuously playing calculated and not trying too hard to continue to be ahead. Just. Having the perfect control, shutting orange yep. down, Starva starving them on farm basically also. Let's see, and look at blue just split pushing top, he's gonna have his agonims in about 700 gold. Oh, we might have a fight going down bottom and Razor won't be involved there. Oh, oh blinking RP up on KYXY, who's already dead. So I hereby yep. declare that the fight is off. Yeah, and this, this is the slowest farming alk ever, which was made possible by the pretty amazing roam of uh, Sand King and Visage. Mm -hmm. Poor guy. Already started early. Level 1. And here comes Blue now. He's like, wait up, wait up, friends. Ooh, nice shekel, awkward shekel, but the birds are not affected by it. Jovan is, though, he can still time lapse. We'll time lapse back to full health. Looking for the racks. Takes a bit of damage. We'll be able to get away as Enigma came in and died. Uh, interesting. I'm not quite sure why he was trying that, but I appreciate his efforts. Nice yep. deny on the racks, but yeah, I still your racks had died, Mushi. Deny or not, static link, bloody wasted. Another racks going down. Soul assumption doesn't do enough to kill off net. Nope, not this time. But yeah, I mean, this is just Mineski with 
You know, it's not even a slow siege or something. They just are up against a team that right now can't fight them, and they know that, so they're not even trying. Yeah, exactly. And that Enigma was pretty much going for the, well, I'm just going to throw this out here, maybe we'll win, and then he just died. Yeah. Good for him. Good for him. Oh, another, another smoke coming out. He still has his black hole, by the way. Yep. He was... No, yeah. Oh, and shit, this could be bad for Orange again. Yeah, Ohio already there. Here they come. Set a blink. Up on Ohio. Tries to run. Won't be able to. One more hit away from dying. And there we go. That's one dead. BKB turned on. I have the storm as well. Net running for his life. KYXY doing the same thing. And that's going to be Net down. Exchant was already down on the other side of the fight. And now they chase down KYXY, who is the last one alive together with OD. Burst like misses. But the rest doesn't. And that's going to be another... Fight going the way of Mineski and they'll take it here two after this and now the GG comes. No surprise there, Mineski dominating the first game of this best of three series for the quarterfinals for the AMD Premier League. And proving everybody wrong. Basically. A lot of people. Well, except me, I was like, you know me, I was like Philippine. I was you know, I was chanting their name. Yeah. Maybe didn't I heard it. it. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Good. So do you have any uh, any shoutouts or plugins? I'm just gonna check if uh, actually, Skim is not online just yet, so if you want to join for the second game. Well, let me, give me, give me a couple minutes to freshen up and primp myself. Okay, if Skim still shows up, then I'm going to have to say goodbye to you, but for now he is not here. Yeah. So I would Good. like to welcome you back to game number two. And also, of course, to all the viewers at home, we're going to have ourselves a second game to see if Orange can force out a third game, or if Mineski is going to upset Orange here and make it into a 2-0. So stick around for game two of the AMD Premier League quarterfinals. Don't go anywhere.